rainfall. Luis Severino is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and that one just missed outside. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. Here's another one-two. Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Again, a one-two. Bounce towards the second baseman. Throw to first is in time for the first down. And here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. Mark DeRosa, what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Matty, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be wind day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. And he will make the play. Two away now. Batting third, the catcher number 40. Here's the catcher, Wilson, Wilson Ramos. Ramos. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Just getting started here in the Bronx. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. There seem to be different philosophies on it, so Dan, what was your approach in 0-2 counts? My philosophy is this. I think the last thing you want to do is throw non-competitive things. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Down in order go the Rays. Tampa Bay nothing. Yankees coming up. We'll be right back on MLB Network. Blake Snell will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him Dan? Blake Snell big power arm. He has yet to put it all together but I really like this guy. Good fastball with late life as they say in the pitching business. Good overhand curveball. His changeups getting better all the time. If he brings his A game, he could shut any team down. Throw on to first in time, one away. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Danny, any thoughts? Matt, I can't wait to see what Aaron Judge has in store. He's in that rarefied air. Over 50 home runs last year. That's just crazy power. He can take the ball the other way. He can pull home runs. The ballparks can't contain him. When you're hitting 50 dingers, you're doing something very special. And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, been a middling start to the season as they come in two and three over their first five. Yeah, Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they get put together two games in a row, a lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know. This could be a jump start to big things. Line toward the alley in left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Softly hit to the left side, and that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Hey, I can't imagine that's the pitch he was looking for right there. But he did his best to keep his nose in there and drive that change up for a base hit. He's set and the pitch. No balls in one strike. The 0 1 delivery. 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Bouncer up the middle. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB. At the plate, C.J. Crone. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Designated hitter, C.J. Crone. A little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. The windup and the 0 1. Fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1 and 2. Not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2, a fastball. And I think as a hitter right now, you have to continue to go up there. Looking to hit off the fastball. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And he takes a cold strike, 0 and 1. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. And the changeup is way low that time. Grounded back up the middle. Torres scoops it up, and he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. Throw got him, and that's a gorgeous play. And this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. Here's Carlos Gomez. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. No score here as we play inning number two. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Raise. Josh Bell, the next to hit. Previous history with Blake Snell. He's one for two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. All right, let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively. Moving guys. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. In now, Gary Sanchez. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Here's the 0-1. Popped him up. Bowers is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Jake Lamb trying to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Line drive and that's a base hit in the center field. And Lorenzo Kane on deck loves to see that. It means he'll hit here as well. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, guys, there had to be something in the scouting report right there. For him to be on top of that 0-0 change up the way he was, that was pretty special. Here's Brett Gardner now. That's popped up. 
Duffy in foul ground. And this will land foul. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And Adaney will make the catch to retire. The Into the box, Daniel Robertson. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Here's a high pop-up. And there's out number one. Batting eight. Digging first in now, Bateman. Jake Bowers. Number nine. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. The hitter in this situation has to understand that this pitcher is on the attack, looking for a quick inning. If there's something in the heart of the plate, you better pull the trigger on it. Seeger loves it. And there are two away now. Batting ninth. In now, Adani Echevarria is ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Popped him up. Bell has room in foul territory, and the inning is over. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Number 26. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. Bowers has a play, makes the play one away. Up next for the game. Hitter. Coming to the plate now, Odubel Herrera. Herrera. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Smith. And that's the second out of the inning. The right fielder, Here's big Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. First delivery to him on the way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Fouled off. The 0-2 delivery. Hit hard up the middle. Robertson up the middle. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Malik Smith, the next to hit. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Number five. Standing Matt in, Matt Duffy. Duffy. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Behind 0 and 2 now. No runs, no hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. On the ground to the right side. On to first, and there were two down. Now Digging in, Wilson Ramos. Ramos. He's Ramos. 0 for 1 thus far. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. A great take on that slider away right there. But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non-competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. No runs, no hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. 
Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They still trail 1-0. Leading off the fourth for the Yankees. Stepping in, Josh Bell. He flew out in his last at bat. Pulled high in the air out to left field. On the run is Smith, one away. Now batter. Here's Corey Seager. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Digging in, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer will wait on it. And that will retire the side. So the Yan Here's CJ Crone now. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. If they want to get things going, how about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold, 0-2. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0-2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. The 1-2. Grounded up the first baseline. Bell scoops it up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back center fielder Kevin at the plate Kiermaier. Kevin Kiermeyer. he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far here's a cold strike about thigh high nothing in one popped him up Sanchez over to his left and he makes the catch for the second out the batter Right Still a little there. early to start Carlos talking about these Gomez. things. There you go, right there. A big goose egg in that hit column, worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. Here's Carlos Gomez. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. To one and two now. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retire. Now to the plate, Jake Lamb. Leading the match up the with Blake Snell now to lead off Third the inning. Jake Lamb. Lamb, a previous member of the Diamondbacks organization, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay. You want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Behind 0-2 now. Working for the punch out and the offering. This is in the air out to right. And this will be taken in out there by Gomez for the first out. Ready once again, Brett Gardner. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. First delivery to him on the way. Owen won the count. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Here's a high pop up. 
Robertson. He's there. Two down. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. 0 for 2 Number with a line out and a pop out. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Their own pitcher is absolutely feeling right now, so this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Robertson ranging into the outfield. He's got it, and they get out. Leading off the inning, Daniel Robertson. And Leading they'll need him Tampa to get Bay. something going here. Daniel. Big tilt on the slider against his swing and a miss. I know it goes without saying, but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game, pounding the zone. Fly ball to straightaway left. Gardner is there, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, number nine. Stepping up to the plate, Jake Bowers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Pitch on the way. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1 0. Oh. Bowers, a 22 year old, he was selected in the seventh round back in the draft of 2013. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Hey, Dero, it's kind of getting late early. That's only their first hit of the game, and we're into the sixth inning. Yeah, he, this guy's been on point all day, working it in and out. Their pitching staff obviously did their homework on this offense. But right here, able to break through with the first knock, hopefully the... And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now working the edges painting the corners but he left this one right over the plate and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there Malik Smith comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one swing and a miss way behind the big fastball tried to get him to go after the slider but it's one and two the one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Stepping in, Matt Number Duffy, five. runner in scoring Matt. position with two guns. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's bad. Leading off for the Yankees. Right fielder, Aaron Judge. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Here's a high pop up. Robertson is there for it. One down. Now At the plate, him. Josh Bell. Hershey. It was a flyout for oh. him in his last trip. Oh. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. One out, nobody on. up and the 0-2 pitch. Oh and this one is hit a ton out to center. 
racing back the center fielder. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. The batter. Here's Corey Seager. Corey Seager. As it's grounded sharply to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Ready for another Sanchez. chance? Gary Sanchez. Sanchez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Back here in the Bronx, Yankees leading this one as we get ready to start the seventh, but before. Leading off with the range. Catcher. Dylan Matensis is out from the bullpen now as he'll be making his now first appearance of this young season. Number 68, Dylan Matensis. First pitch on its way. Very weakly on the ground. Now here it comes. And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Next will be the cleanup hitter, C.J. Crone. Now Previous history against Dylan Betances. He's a 333 hitter. One ball, no strikes to count. And a strike to even the count. One and one. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. 1-1 one, one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now. One and two. Still one and two as he fouls it away. The one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So digging in now, now Kevin Kiermeyer. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Jake Lamb standing in now. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. Swing and a liner. Kiermeyer is right there, one down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. In now is Lorenzo Cain. Hit back up the middle, and that is through into center field for a one out single. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Got to be a little frustrated on the offensive side. Yeah, everybody's getting knocks and the batting averages are flowing right now, but nobody's come up with that big runner in scoring position, two out knock kind of feel that really is going to break this game over. In time to first and there are two away. The batter, number 26. Stepping into the box, Gleiber Torres. He doubled his last time through. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the. Now at the plate, Carlos Gomez. Previous history against right Dylan Batances. He's 0 for 4. Gomez. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Hey. Oh, good knuckle curve, 0 and 2. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. You think he stays out there? I think he does. One thing you don't want to do, though, Matt, it's not a good idea to throw the same hitter 
the same pitch three times in a row back to back to back but I think he might throw it here two balls and two strikes to Carlos Gomez kind of pitching him backwards in this AB soft stuff early then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him got him and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one now batting second baseman this is in the air out to straightaway center Kane is there two gone now batting number nine Stepping into the box, Jake Bowers, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve, strike one. In there, and it's 0-2 now. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Rays go in order. One. Vidal Nuno is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's working on a one for three thus far. Just got a piece up the line. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. The right fielder, number 99. Here's big Aaron Judge. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Drilled on the ground is short. And that's the second out. The batter, third baseman. Oh, Riding in once again, Josh Bell. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly belted high in the air out to left. Looking up is Smith, and it's gone as they add still another. Here's Corey Seager. And he rips it on the ground to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Yankees. Here's Echeverria now. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Slur and he jumps ahead here 0 and 2. Somebody needs to go rattle the cage right here. Take the bats and start throwing them all over the dugout to get these boys going. If this continues, I guarantee you you see a different lineup tomorrow. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Malik Smith the next to hit no hits in three tries so far he struck out once swing a soft liner throw to first will be in time and the Rays are now down to their final out number five sliding into the box Matt Duffy he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side two out here in the ninth one ball no strikes to count the one and no delivery a swing and a shot hit down the corner and it's a foul ball. A hey, great swing right there. I know the ball foul but he absolutely laced that pitch right there. He's just throw on to first and the Yankees are going to get out of here with a split in this brief two game series as this ball game is over three to Our one.